Hey everyone, Jason back once again with another diecast review. Today, we'll be taking a look at version 1 and 2 of the Kaido House Mini GT Bree Dotson 510 Wagon. And I picked both of them up for my friends over at diecastmodelhoso.com. If you're wanting to pick up either one of them for your collection, they'll be linked in the video description below. Before we get to the diecast, we'll take a look at the packaging. They come in your standard for Kaido House Mini GT Premium Cardboard Boxes. We'll take a look at version 1's first, obviously, and then quickly go over version 2 as they are pretty much the same box art. Starting off though, here on the front we have Kaido House Mini GT, got the Wagon Heart logo, number 26, got the render of the model on the front, of course designed by Junamai, features a metal body and chassis, alloy wheels and opening hood, side here features Kaido House Mini GT, end of the box here features Kaido House Car Culture for All Ages, Rondo with the Zero, Instagram at Kaido House and Kaido House Garage as well as KaidoHouse.com, more of the same on this side, got the Brie logo on this end, and all your relevant legal information can be found on the bottom as well as the hologram for TSM models. That is version 1's box. Version 2, more of the same, except number 27, and we got the render of the white version, version 2, here on the front. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at version 1 first. Really looking forward to the upcoming releases from Kaido House and Mini GT. Here is version 1. Looking fantastic. Starting off on the window banner, we have Dotson. 46 and Dotson on the hood, which does open to feature a nicely detailed engine. There you go. Fantastic job from everyone at Mini GT, Kaido House, Junamai. Fantastic job. Got your vinyl rubber mirrors on the fenders. Still be careful, those can come off. Got painted details there for your headlights with the Brie logo on the left ones. The grill looks nice. Got Brie here down on the chin spoiler, chrome details for the front bumper. Here on the fender we have BRE, Brie Dotson on the side. Wheels and tires roll fantastic. Got those metal wheels. Really like the wheels, especially the rear ones. The drums look fantastic. Once again, Brie Dotson on the side with the traditional red and blue stripes. 46 on the door. Red roll cage on the center interior there. Got red seats looking fantastic. Back here on the quarter window, we have Kaido House and Bree Dotson on the quarter panel. Up on the roof, we have Bree Dotson in the number 46. Nothing on the rear spoiler. Back here on the back, we have inserted plastic details for your taillights. Dotson 510, Bree license plate. Got your dual exhaust sticking out of the bottom, right in between the rear bumper and the rear diffuser. Chrome details for that rear bumper. There is your rear diffuser. Bottom has your chameleon color changing Kaido House Mini GT base with speed dimples. There are your tires looking fantastic. Two screw construction. The other one would be right underneath the rear diffuser there. Right side of the car is more or less the same as the left side. You've got your right hand drive steering wheel. Again, all the detail on the interior. I really like the contrast with the red roll cage and red seats. So that is version 1. Go ahead and open up version 2 here. Version 2 is equally as nice as version 1. They are essentially the same, except for the color. Once again, up on the window banner, we have Dotson, 46 Dotson on the the uh, hood open up the engine big there you go you got all that nice detail on the engine in there all white really see all the details in there fantastic once again as well silver mirrors painted details for your headlights got all the same bre logos on the chin spoiler and on the headlights there bre on the fender Bree dotson 46 Kyle House and Bree Dotson on the cargo window and quarter panel with Bree Dotson 46 on the roof. This time we got a white roll cage with blue seats on the interior. Back here in the back, once again, BRE license plate, Dotson 510. Inserted plastic details for your taillights. Same white rear diffuser with dual exhaust. There is your color changing chameleon speed dimpled base. Right side of the car, more or less the same. Got your fuel door molded in right there behind Dotson. Of course, right-hand drive, just like the other one. 
So yeah, version one and two, fantastic models from Keitel House and Mini GT. So yeah, that's my review of the Keitel House Mini GT Bree Dotson 510 Wagons, version one and version two. I picked both mine up from diecastmonohoso.com. If you enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more. I post new diecast reviews throughout the week, so be sure to click the bell for notifications. You can find me over on Twitter at JasonASTrain69. See you next time for an all-new Diecast Review. Bye.